I whipped out my circular saw here, and it doesn't work. Ah, oh, it's like almost brand new. And of course, I've already voided the warranty on it, but it doesn't matter because to return it would mean a trip that would cost more than the saw cost in the first place. Uh, so I'm taking it apart because that's what I do. I bet that I can get this stupid thing to work somehow. Maybe it's just the switch isn't working. Because I was running it on uh, straight off some solar panels, so there's no alternating current going in, into it. And maybe that messed with the switch. But I don't care. I don't need the switch. I just need to turn on. So I might be able to just wire something directly into the motor. Because I just need the motor to work. I don't care about all this other switch garbage. Now I've done way worse to this like $15 drill. This still totally works. It's got water dripping out of it. This still works. Proline. Cheap junk tools. I might have to get more of those. And because my skill saw here is uh, having some problems. Yeah, and this costs much more. Although I do have a super old skilled jigsaw, which has gone through the ringer and it still works. I love old tools from like the 50s before they started building planned obsolescence into them. Oh, don't ever do this. This is not a normal plug. This is connected to solar panels, not 120 volts of AC. It's cloudy, so there's not much power in there anyway. But maybe I have to turn this thing. Still, don't do any of this. Unless you, like, really know what you're doing. Not that I know what I'm doing, but... Oh, seriously? Connecting power directly to the brushes of the motor produces no rotation whatsoever. Oh, oh wait, it's not permanent magnet, right? I need to charge the, uh... oh, okay, maybe I'm all right. Yeah, I should have known, there's, there's no permanent magnets in this motor. It's got, uh, you know, electromagnets, coils of wire in the sides here that have to have electricity going through them to make the magnetic field to get the other part to work anyway. I need to connect electricity to those two. All right, I'm just gonna pay attention to what I'm doing here for a minute. All right, let's see how this thing's connected. All right, nothing enlightening there. Screws off. Oh, look, it's starting to rain. I hope it doesn't make it. Dude, what are you doing? You're gonna break it. You can't really break something that's already broken. Alright, I got my two power wires down here. So the electricity comes in through one, runs around the coil on one side. <laughs> Then goes through the brush way up there, which connects to the, you know, the middle thing in here, and then goes out through the other brush, and then connects to this coil, and then back out through the thing. Hopefully that will be in some way helpful. Not gonna lie, it is looking pretty bleak right now. But I've learned many times that when things look real bleak, Sometimes you just have to keep going a little more. And then you get some new something that's not so bleak. So I guess I'm just gonna keep messing with stuff. Ooh, that's pretty. At least I know where to connect the wires now. Well, that's so 
sounds like it's trying to move. I think it might just need more electricity. The motor's totally fine. Good. Hmm. Yeah, not so bleak now. But now do I... I wonder if in all the taking it apart and putting it back together, I inadvertently fixed something, which does often happen. In which case, maybe I can just put it all back together and it'll work normally. So I think I'll just do that, put it all together and test it. And then, if that doesn't work, then I'll presume something is wrong with the electronics. I'll take it apart and wire something directly into the motor. All right, here's my normal house electricity coming from the inverter. So this is all the normal electricity that we have. Nothing. All right, let me just test this on my drill. All right, totally works. I guess the switch is blown on that. Alright, I need to make sure that no one ever tries to plug this into a normal plug again after I do my modifications. Why are you taking that apart? Well, yeah, this is this is what it normally does. Supposed to be like this. Jamie. What? Did you break that? I didn't break anything. You want one of those? Why are you cutting things off of it? It's it's supposed to do that. Don't worry. Totally cool. So it's really going. At? I'm taking the garbage off it. Because they made it with some garbage, and I was like, why does it got garbage on it? Let me take the garbage off. So it gives it, like, too much weight. You can't, it, it's bold. It was it, too heavy for me with, the table. with, with all, all that extra like stuff. It was too heavy for me to hold it. All right. Now I'm just going to direct wire this to this and that to that. Do you have any wire nuts? Yeah, let me pull some right out of my pants. Wire nuts. Fill them with Vaseline to keep the moisture out of there. There. Now, plug it in, it's on. Unplug it, it's off, I hope. Well, only to my special plug, not a normal plug. Do not plug this into a normal plug. Jamie, remember, do not plug this into a normal plug. Ooh, got it all stuffed in there. Nuts and all. Alright, all back together. And I just tested my polarized plug here. And when I plug it in, it does turn the right direction. If it didn't, I'd just have to flip the wires, reverse them. And I could make a switch for this, which I'll probably do eventually, but for the moment, I'm just going with whatevs. Yeah, you know, whatevs. It's like, so that's not going to be a problem for months, and I'll totally fix it by then, right? All right, ghetto table saw, almost reassembled. Sheesh, pain in the butt that was. Well, there's like barely enough sun to plug it in and see it turn, so I know it's working. I just need these clouds to get out of here. Come on, cold front from Mexico, move along, move along. Oh, and my magical plug up here is connected to three solar panels in series to give me about 90 volts DC, maybe a little over, and about 9 amps. Yeah, when the sun's out. Oh, no, no. Why are you taking that apart? You're supposed to say, what did you say the first time? Is that your new saw? No, 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 the first, first time. Why are you taking that apart? Okay. Is that not what I said? No, no, no. Yeah. Okay, well, you have to start that over again. But you have to say it, no, I'll just cut it. Okay. 
You have to say it like, like in your accusing tone you had the first time. Because <laughs> it was funny.